So here's uh, um, uh, one more story about, about the two of us. It's called... Um... Yeah, I'm watching you. It's called In Which Highlights for Children is Discussed at Great Length. Last night on the way home from dinner, I said to Anne, do you remember the magazine Highlights for Children? Of course I do, she said. I remember how I hated going to the doctor when I was a kid until I started reading highlights in the waiting room. Turn right at this intersection, I said, and Trader Joe's will be on the left in a block. She turned right, and I realized that Trader Joe's is actually to the left. Oh, shit, my bad. It's, uh, it's actually back there, I said. As we drove under the freeway to a place where we could make a U-turn, I said, did anyone ever read highlights someplace that wasn't the doctor or dentist's office? <laughs> The library at my school had a subscription, so we'd read it there, she said. We got to the next intersection, which featured a nice big no U-turn sign. <laughs> well, this quick stop at Trader Joe's is turning into quite an adventure, I said, as we waited at the red light. We were quiet for a second. I said, I bet seeing highlights in someone's house would have been like seeing your teacher at the grocery store. <laughs> like it's familiar, but it is totally out of context. So, you feel uncomfortable, you don't know what to do, and you just kind of look at your feet and hope that the whole thing ends before you get homework. <laughs> the light turned green and we made a left onto a dark industrial street. You know what I always hated about highlights? Ann said, some idiot kid had always circled the hidden pictures. <laughs> oh, seriously, I said, fuck that kid, man, that kid's a dick. She looked at me. And what kind of parent gives their kid a pen to draw all over a magazine that is obviously intended for multiple kids to read? Asshole parents, I said. It's called Highlights for Children, jerk. Not Highlights for Your Children. Because doctor's offices don't exactly have pens lying around, she said. There's one, and it's attached by a chain to a clipboard. She pulled into a driveway about halfway down the street and turned around. Yeah, some mom had to go into her purse, dig around the used Kleenex and that giant weird checkbook wallet thing that moms carry, and find her pen. We turned back toward Trader Joe's. I raised my hands over my head as we went through the freeway underpass. Whee! I put my hands back in my lap. I mean, that's a lot of time for her to think, hey, maybe I shouldn't be giving little Johnny Fuckface this pen to ruin the magazine for all the other children. We turned into the tiny Trader Joe's parking lot and parked the car. As we got out and walked in, I said, Highlight should have done a goofus and gallant about that, man. <laughs> You've spent a lot of time thinking about this, and said. It's what I do. <laughs> now, about three weeks after I wrote this story, I got an email from Highlights Magazine. Uh, if you look at the screen here, I just draw your attention to the man with the beard who is very unhappy with this child. And he's making a motion with his hand, which you may have seen me make from time to time. You'll also notice the good child over here, who is not fucking ruining Goofus and Gallant and Hidden Pictures. This came to my house and I was like, what the actual fuck? indirectly a contributor to Highlights for Children. And I'm in it! I emailed the awesome person at Highlights who sent it to me and I said, um... Ah! I was moderately more articulate, but I mean it was... She sent back, um, would you like a, a, a framed print of this? 
I was like, does anyone say no to that? No, please don't send me the framed print of me and highlights for Children Magazine in a goofus and gallant based on a thing I wrote for my blog because it was amusing to me. <laughs> I had this idea earlier that there should be a sketch about a guy and he's like, does not get sarcasm guy. So that guy would go, oh, okay. Anyway, she sent it to me and it's in our house. <laughs> it's right there uh, on, the, on the hutch behind the, 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 the sofa where we watch TV. It's going to eventually be hung in a place of pride, probably next to the Hirschfeld I have of the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation. Because in my mind, they're equal. Thanks.